go. Hey, so we're back with our um, next video. This I'm here in the background. She's videotaping. <laughs> so this is going to be a product review. Um, we were asked to by review, a subscriber. Yeah, to review this shed. This is my husband's shed. Obviously, it's not mine. He bought this about three years ago. I want to say it's a. I want to say it's a Rubbermaid. Yeah. This, I think it's a small one. Um, he got it at Lowe's. I forgot how much he paid for it, but my sister will insert how much it was. Yeah. Now it does have a solar light up here that he installed. It didn't come with it. Um, but he did write some. I don't know anything about this thing. Okay, but my husband does. So he has a list here for you guys. So um, this does open up. Just so I can show you guys. It does open up. It's a good size inside. He did attach um, a little thing up here. He attached that on here. It does not come with it. But this is... Watch the, the dog pals. <laughs> um, so this is how big it is inside. It can definitely come in. It's like the size of a good little walk-in closet, I would say. Um, so it is um, a square. It's six, six, what is it? Six feet nine inches by six feet nine inches. And the peak, the very tall, or as my sister would like to say it, the ridge. The ridge of the building. It's eight feet tall. Okay. The, they do come, well, they don't come with attachments, but they, you can buy um, attachments to hang like your sh your shovels and stuff like that. They like snap into these things. Yeah, if you, but those if you are can see it has, it has a little grooves in there. Yeah, those you have to buy them separately. Um, yeah. I was thinking about buying him some, but I don't know where to get them. So, and they're probably at Lowe's. But this is the inside. And then if you see here, you see how it has a different, because you can attach things mm -hmm. on these two. Um, and this, here are the clips that keep them together. Keep the this, panels together. This was a two-man build. And my husband says it was very easy to put together, but um it took him about two hours to build it um the main reason why i want to say it took him two hours to build it is because um he had to build the base for it um it has to be level so if it's not level if you don't you have to build a base for it unless you have a really good solid ground that's level ground um you have to build a base for it now he my husband he's very particular about things he he's very much the kind of man that like if you're gonna do it do it right and do it right the first time because i ain't gonna do it again okay and he's very much a perfectionist now he so he has his wood right here and under this wood is cement so he got cement blocks and he drilled into the cement blocks so he made a he made a platform for it, okay, and then and then they put it put it together. And I re think the reason why it took him so long and the reason why it has to be level is because each piece is it's cut to where it has to be on level ground because it's perfect. It has to be perfect. So you have to have it on level ground. That's what pretty much he's saying. Um, it's pretty good. It's with it's withstood for seventy five mile an hour winds. Uh, we can see the roof is actually attached with screws. Yeah. So that roof isn't going anywhere. Yeah. So we've had... And it's also braced. If you see the braces. We've had... So even if something falls on there, those braces will catch it. We've had two hurricanes and two tropical storms and the, 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 the Houston freeze. <laughs> and it's still standing up strong like yeah, it was. Yeah, I think, I think because you know. it's plastic, I think mm -hmm. that's why it, it weathered very well yeah it looks brand new inside like yeah. you can tell and then um let me see if you see down there on the panel you see how it has the a with the arrows going up and the b with it so it's very it's like a puzzle it tells you exactly what to put where now i will say it's not very well insulated in here so whatever temperature it is outside it is in it is outside it is inside yeah. um, but the good thing is that you see it has the it has vents, air holes so it's not like, like it's gonna trap in the, the t you know yeah exactly and then all the one the other thing that he did the con he did say was that the doors they're they're very they're kind of weak they're so they wobbly do, they do um bow out on the bottoms um but that's i think that's because it's plastic you yeah. know 
but other than that i mean it's a pretty good shed you know like it's like i said it's been here for three years going on four it, he hasn't had any problems with it you know the only problem it was was building it and honestly the help he had wasn't very helpful um he for had a to, do it yourself i think it's a good it's a good yeah it is good but like uh, yeah he um he had some help um it, it, but the help wasn't very helpful so i think that's why it took him six hours to do it, it, it but you do need more than one person to, to help you do this um but i would say no more than one chief yeah <laughs> okay because you need a chief and then you need somebody else to kind of follow along um so yeah i mean it's a pretty good um shed we can fit a good amount of stuff in here um he was able to put this um shelving in here um all my uh plant stuff is in here and then um yeah i mean i don't know what else i can do a walk around the whole building yeah, so y'all can see that. the whole outside oh somebody speaking you see it has like the shingle type roof up there and then here's the base let me see what the back of it looks like so here's the back of it there's the base So you could see the seams. So those clips on the inside is what's keeping the seams together. Let me walk around the other side. There's a tree blocking me that way, so I have to walk back around this way. Really quickly, we have a makeshift little lock on here. You do have to lock this because when it does get windy, It'll these pop doors back open. will look how, how weak the doors are. Okay, the doors are kind of weak, but um, that's why we had to do this makeshift block. Watch the... Will we watch it? Oh, it's starting to sprinkle, girl. Okay, so there it is. Yep, and there it is. There's the shed. All right, y'all. Well, there it is. Thank y'all. Bye.